Hi, this is David McCann for WebTNG. This video is part of a mini-series looking at getting started with Quickly. Quickly is relatively new. It's an advanced toolkit for Gutenberg, and it's designed to work with the Full Site Editor. As you know, the Full Site Editor is still in beta, and it's very bare bones. Quickly enhances the Site Editor with a themer area where you can create custom templates and assign conditions. Quickly also provides a set of advanced Gutenberg blocks that lets you work with the site editor or with your content, and provides features like Flexbox, dynamic data, global styles, interactions, and other styling options. Quickly comes bundled with its own block theme and with Advanced Custom Fields Pro. This video provides an overview of Quickly and a tour of the user interface. If you like the video, please subscribe. It helps to spread the word about the channel. Quickly is a premium only solution and you purchase it from their website. The pricing is 49 euros a year for three websites, 99 euros a year for 10 websites, or 199 euros a year for 1,000 websites. Once you log into the website, then you have access to the dashboard. Here's where you can go to download the theme and the plugins. But what I want to do is show you the documentation. This is the documentation library, so they have pretty good documentation. They also have an online forum where you can get help. There's a Facebook group, and then there's a YouTube channel. So those are some of the resources that are available. So I have here a testing site and I've got the 2022 theme activated and as you can see I've got some test posts so that we have some content. If we look at the plugins I've got custom post type UI installed and I use that to define the books custom post type and the genres custom taxonomy. Now normally I have an advanced custom fields plugin but because I have quickly installed it comes with Advanced Custom Fields, so I don't need a separate plugin. With Quickly's version of Advanced Custom Fields, you're not going to see it here in the plugin list. When Quickly's installed, you get a menu item here off the admin, Themer and Settings. Let's take a look at Settings. I've already entered the license keys. You have a place for icon collections, for font sets, to enter a Google Maps API, to add custom code, and some advanced settings, and a place to regenerate HTML, as well as a link for emailing support and a link to documentation. Okay, if we look now at the other menu item, it's called Themer. So let's go and check that out. And this gives you an overview of all the theme templates. So that's a nice feature. It's nicer than the list you get with the core full site editor list of templates. Something to note here is that you can click here to go in and edit it, and that takes you into the editor. Here you can click to add conditions for when you want the template to be used. Here's where you can reset the template. So next let's go look at quickly in the Gutenberg editor. Okay, so I'll just call this and save it. First thing, if we go across the top here, we see here's an icon, and this links to the Quickly library of pre-designed templates. See, it says there's 672 items. Okay, and they're in different categories here. You have different layouts, you have themes where different ones of these are grouped together into a theme with the same kind of color palette and whatnot, and then individual elements. These are pre-designed templates that you can use in your pages and in your theme templates. And one of the ways to get started with Quickly is to use these pre-designed templates when we go into the full site editor. Then let's add a little content here. I'm adding that because you're familiar probably with this list view of blocks, right? Well, Quickly has something similar to that. That's this icon here. 
difference is that you can move this around and dock it where you want to. And it's a little bit easier to move the contents around. You can look at the different blocks and you can delete them here. So anyway, this is there, the Quickly Navigator. And now here we have some global options from these icons. Here you can create your own global classes. So I'll just show you the interface. Then you can set like the background, topography, layout, sizing, all of these CSS style features you can apply to your class. Then here you can create a global style sheet. You can give it a name and you can edit it and add your styles in. Then here you have a global collection. These are elements that you create that you can reuse in other places and other pages throughout the site. Let's create one for example. Option to save to the collection is available on the quickly blocks. So I'm just going to create a section block here and we'll add a heading into it. And so then if we want to, there is an option here to add to collection. That's how you save your own block sections into the quickly collection. All right, and then finally, we have some global style options. Some things to see about this is you can apply them, you know, by device sizes. You have your normal styles, but you also have your pseudo classes. And you have three style sets. You can have different styles there if you want. Then here's colors. Now, these colors show up when you're using the quickly theme on all blocks like Let's just go in here to, so I can show you. See, these are the colors from the 2022 theme, and these are the default Gutenberg colors. If we're using the Quickly theme, then those global colors would show up in the color palette here for all blocks. But I wanted to make you aware of kind of the limitation here. Now, if you add a Quickly block, a heading then the colors from your global styles are available here for the quickly blocks just so you're aware of how that works let's go back now so there are your colors they are linked so if you use this color on the heading and then you change it to say blue where you've used this item it will change in the content where you've used it and you can give them a name and you can add more colors and then here's block topography. These are for the quickly blocks. You can create your own style options. So maybe you wanna have different types of heading styles. So let me show you how these work. Let's add a quickly heading here. And then let's go in and modify this one. For instance, we'll make it, let's say 50 and we'll make it italic, and we'll make it underline, and we'll make it uppercase. Now when I go in and look at the block settings for this heading, there's this option here, you see the globe, and where you see that globe, then I can apply a global setting. See, it applied the global setting that I had for headings. And if you wanted to have more than one, you could create an alternative heading and call it you know, quirky heading or whatever you wanted. So that's how those block topography settings work. You know, these are kind of things you've probably seen before in themes or block plugins where you can set your styles. So this is where you can apply some preset properties to elements. Then there are some settings here. You can have a default background color you can set your breakpoints. You can set the default size of your sections, the default padding for your sections, and there are options for a dark mode and global pseudo classes. Then there's an export option and there's a dynamic preview option. And here you can set a post that you want to be your preview. So 
See, this is one of the book records I have, you know, for the book custom post type. So if I wanted this content to be the preview, I could set that here. And this is probably most useful when you're working in the site editor and you want specific content to preview in the editor when you're making templates. So those are the global styles. Now let's look at the blocks that come with the Quickly collection. Okay, you see these are the blocks. They're at the top of the list. They're column blocks. They're section blocks. The heading, paragraph, image, button, icon, video, list, slider, gallery, modal, menu, div, maps, input, hook, fragment, query for creating your lists, post content, repeater, and taxonomy terms. Core has a heading block and the advantage of using the quickly for instance is that you have the dynamic data options. You can select your WordPress fields or your advanced custom fields. You know, and WordPress fields are things from the post, from the site, from the author, from the current user, and then options pages. That's nice if you create a custom option page with Advanced Custom Fields Pro, which comes with Quickly, then you could have site-wide options and you could pull those into your pages. And then you have a for or after and a fallback, so those are nice. Okay, so that's one of the advantages of using the Quickly blocks over the core blocks. Okay, you also have, as we saw before, the option to add to the collection and then when you are using the Quickly blocks, you have access to the settings that are available for Quickly. Obviously, they are more advanced than the core blocks. You can set conditions for visibility. Here, for example, you can hide block for logged in users or hide block for guests. You can set conditions, author, author name, ACF field, cookie, date, day of the week, day of the month, time, short code, post content, site, user. Okay, so quite a few options there for display conditions. Let's see, I want to turn that off. Okay, let's revert this and add it again. You have the options for a link wrapper on some of the blocks and you have interactions. Here you have like on click, you can then go to a URL or you can go to a modal or something, right? Okay, you have double click, mouse up, mouse down, enter, leave, over, out, a URL hash. Okay, so you have these interactions that you can build up each block has its unique ID and you can give it a class. It generates a class automatically for every block and you can rename those if you want. You can add classes, you can apply global classes. As I mentioned, you have access now to the global colors here and you have the topography. As we saw, you can apply your global topography options. This is to give it a unique name and that shows up in the Quickly Navigator. So the options available in the primary tab might vary by which block you have. So like an image block, you know, you'd have the option to pick your image. Okay, but the advanced options are a standard set of options that are the same for every block. So you have background options, you have topography options, layout options. One of the things to note is that Quickly comes with Flexbox built in, so that's available. There are sizing options, margin and padding, borders, outlines, separators. You've seen those kind of things before. Animate, unscroll, effects, transforms, interactions. So you have cursor, default, context menu, help, pointer progress, weight, cell, crosshair text, vertical text, alias, copy, move, no drop, not allowed, grab. So you have a huge number of interactions, okay? Then you can add custom CSS for the block. You can set tooltips for the block, apply pseudo classes, attributes, and relative styling. 
Okay, so this is advanced stuff. The kind of things you see in page builders are available here in Quickly. I wanted to show you one other thing here related to the blocks. Let's add a section block. So then we could put something inside the section. When we're looking at the section block, note that then, you know, because it's a section, the flex options are in the primary tab, right? Because that makes sense. So takeaway from this tour of the blocks is that this is a full featured block collection. So you can use it in your Gutenberg content in addition to using these blocks inside of the site editor. Last thing I want to look at in this tour of what Quickly is, is that Quickly also has a theme which you download from your dashboard on the Quickly site. And the Quickly theme is nothing like the 2022 theme or Cadence or something like that. This is like the Hello Elementor theme. It's a blank theme, a blank slate. You would use this if you want to build up your template library yourself. You can use Quickly with the Quickly theme and you can use it with other block-based themes inside of the full site editor. So that's the overview and tour of the interface. Just a couple of comments about the Quickly toolkit. The first is that it is pretty new. I think it just launched in November of last year. It's very full featured for being so new, so that's exciting, but they're still building it out and enhancing it and fixing bugs and adding new features. They're frequent updates, so it's something that's being actively worked on. Second thing about the Quickly Toolkit is it's for people who want to do your theming in the full site editor. Quickly enhances the full site editor with the themer features and it enhances the full site editor with the block library, which gives you the options for flexbox layouts and dynamic data and global styles, things that the Gutenberg site editor don't have at this time. Two other features of Quickly is, of course, you have a block collection that you can use in your content and you have the template library. The template library, I think, is good for going in and looking at how the Quickly team created content. It's interesting for going to see how things like the interactions were wired up and put together. I think they're planning to rework the library at this point, you don't have something like a site kit where you can just click a button and it installs all the templates for you. So this is the first video in a series on getting started with Quickly. If you're interested in Quickly, I hope this video has helped give you some orientation and understanding for how to get around and how to look for and locate the controls and tools and features. There's a text summary of this video available on the WebTNG website, along with other walkthroughs, reviews, and videos. Thank you for watching.